In this video, I wanna answer the question, is a Magic Eraser safe for car paint? And show you guys what it looks like when this thing damages car paint. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you are a professional auto detailer or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider subscribing. So if you guys have been following the Wilson Auto Detailing community for any length of time, you know I absolutely love Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. This actually is not a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. This is an off-brand, sort of straight from the manufacturer Magic Eraser because at the end of the day, this is just melamine foam. So whether you put a name brand on it or not, it's really going to be the same thing. Also, I buy these in on Amazon for much, much cheaper than you would get the Mr. Clean brand at the store that's near you. So I'm gonna hook up links to where I get these and the discount I get below in the YouTube description box. So not only can these be used on plastic, rubbers, even leather, and basically to clean anything on the interior, you can use it on glass to cut through fog before you apply your glass cleaner, and you can use it to take off transfer from the paint. In some cases, it even removes scratches. Again, it's going to more remove the transfer, not the scratch itself, but some Sometimes transfer appears like a scratch, and so when you use something like this, it takes that away. The problem is, for as many uses as the Magic Eraser has and how effective it is, it does have the potential to damage certain surfaces. So for example, when you use it on leather, if you scrub really hard, you'll notice that it actually starts to more or less sand down the surface of the leather so that any of the grooves or the textured design in the leather actually kind of disappears because this sands down the surface. Well, in much the same way, it does the same thing to your car's clear coat if you're not careful. So when using a magic eraser on car paint, some people and detailers in the forums or in the comments will compare a magic eraser to sandpaper. The reason they do that is because melamine foam ends up, if you push too hard and scrub for too long, abrading whatever surface you're using on. It can happen to your dashboard, it can happen to leather, it can happen to the clear coat of the exterior of your car. Now what I mean by abrading is essentially it starts to scratch. So people will compare this to like 5,000 grit or 7,000 grit sandpaper, a really, really fine sandpaper that you could use on the exterior of your car, but it would begin to scratch eventually, even though it's really fine. So when detailers are using a magic eraser on the exterior of a car, many times, again, like I said, they'll be removing transfer, or maybe they'll be trying to remove like a really stuck on piece of like road tar or something like that. But basically you take a lubricant of your choice. In this case, this is just McGuire wires, all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to 1. You spray it on the paint and then you take the magic eraser and you scrub kind of lightly just like this and then you wipe it off and many times the magic eraser uh, did whatever job you were looking for it to do. Remove the bug, remove the road tar, remove the transfer, whatever it is. So you guys can see there's zero damage here. There's no like visual scratching, nothing like that. However, the problem is if you're new to using a magic eraser or really just don't know what you're doing or just accidentally put too much pressure, you will abrade the paint. And I I want to show you actually what that looks like. Now, don't freak out, this is my own car, so I can do this. But I want to show you what abrading the paint actually looks like with a magic eraser. So you guys can hear I'm putting a lot of pressure on the paint, and I want to show you kind of how long it would take you to actually begin to abrade the paint and how much pressure you would have to put uh, if you're using a magic eraser, because sometimes we kind of overestimate how powerful these things are. And while they definitely do have the potential to damage, it is is pretty difficult to damage something with a magic eraser, assuming you're using a little bit of common sense. So I'm pushing really, really hard, and I am still not really seeing any abrasion. So I'm gonna keep going for a second. You guys can hear just from kind of the noise of it rubbing against the paint how hard I'm pushing. Okay, so let me go ahead and wipe that off and see if we can see anything and it looks like we still can't see anything. So number one, that kind of tells you a little bit in and of itself. I really pushed super hard with this magic eraser and still did not get any abrading, at least that you can see obviously with your eyes. So I'm gonna do it again, basically until I get some abrading, just so you guys can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it in case this is something that actually happens to you.
Now, eventually what you'll get is something like this, and this is what abrading the paint looks like. So let me take you guys in to show you a little bit closer up. So there it is. It's like a cloudy appearance, right? And basically what these are, are just micro, micro, micro scratches in the clear coat. So if you've been taught to use a magic eraser on car paint, which is not a bad idea, magic erasers can be great for car paint. But if you accidentally do it a little bit irresponsibly and end up with something like this and you don't know how to fix it, you might freak out. So let me show you the simplest way I know to fix a problem like this. I'm gonna take some polish, and in this case it's from Show Car. It's just some finishing polish. It's called Renew It. Now, if you have a DA polisher and it's already out and you've been using it, then definitely go ahead and use your DA. It'll be a little bit simpler. I don't have my DA right out right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this by hand, and it's not gonna be a difficult thing. So I'm just dabbing a little bit of polish on my microfiber towel, putting it around the abraded area, and with a little bit, a pretty good amount of pressure, I'm just going to go in circles with my polish and with my microfiber, and I'm just going to work in that polish using a pretty good amount of force. You guys can probably hear it in my voice. I'm like kind of straining a little bit. And I'm gonna use a little bit more polish here and just work that in. Now, when you use a polish by hand, it does take more time than you, it would using a DA. So for example, if I had a Griot's DA or my Rupe's DA out or my Max Shine M15 DA out, it would be much, much quicker, probably take like literally 15 to 20 seconds to fix this problem. But because I just don't wanna pull out my DA right now, I'd rather just use my hand. This is what it's going to take. So I'm just going to work it in in circles just like this. And there you go. I'm just buffing the polish off. That probably took, let's say, 45 seconds. Now, I could continue doing it and make it even more perfect, but I'm actually gonna be doing a two-step polish tomorrow on this car, so it will be perfected then. So in just doing this for 45 seconds, let me show you the results. So I'm sure in the camera, you probably can't even pick up where the abrasion was. I'll give you guys a bunch of different angles, but it was, let's see, like right around this area. But again, look at that, just polishing by hand, not even using a DA, not using a rotary, just polishing by hand for about 45 seconds to probably about a minute and a half using a finishing polish it is gone. So if you're using a magic eraser and you end up abrading the paint and you hurt something, don't freak out. Take a tiny bit of finishing polish. Take three minutes out of your life and check that out. It's totally finished, totally gone. Again, if I was perfecting this at the moment, I'd probably spend a couple more minutes. I might've even used a more compounding cutting polish and then a finishing polish. But again, I'm just trying to make this short. So check that out, it's totally gone. So while a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is one of my favorite tools to use in the auto detailing world, interior and exterior, yes, there are some dangers that you need to be aware of in order to not freak yourself out or damage something. But kind of what I wanted to show you guys is not only what abrading the paint looks like and what abrasions look like, but also how simple they are to fix. And so when somebody says, don't use a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on the paint because it has the potential to hurt the paint, well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me because there are so many ways that this thing is so useful. Even though it has the potential to hurt something, I just showed you guys that when it does hurt something, it's very easy to fix. And number two, just because something has the potential to hurt something doesn't mean you shouldn't be using it right, because even an all-purpose cleaner has the potential to damage something if you don't use it right, but you're still going to use it because, of course, you're letting common sense lead. So with all things in the detailing world, letting common sense lead is obviously the most important thing. But again, that's what abrading the paint looks like. And is a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser safe on paint? Yes, but yes, it does have the potential to damage things. However, with the right know-how, they're very easy to fix. So if you guys wanna get your hands on the Magic Erasers that I buy in bulk for a very inexpensive price, microfiber towel I used, or even the polish that I use, I'm gonna hook up Amazon links to everything that I used in the YouTube description box below. If you use the Amazon links below, it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can keep giving out awesome content just like this all the time. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube 
YouTube comments below because I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And finally, if you are new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community and you are a pro detailer or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for being involved in the Wilson Auto Detailing community and as always from Luke, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video.